Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to End Level Entertainment, the most awesome series, comic book, and movie related YouTube channel in South Africa. I am your host, Z the Entertainer, and welcome back to another review episode. So, yes, this is only one part of the usual dynamic duo. Speech is not available today, uh, but that's fine. I'm sure we're going to do just good. And I'm going to be reviewing Shazam. So, this is going to be a spoiler review because uh, my review is coming out rather late for this movie. Um, I only got to see it much later than I would have liked to. Uh, so, yeah, um, Shazam was okay. As much as, you know, as far as a DCEU movie can go, I guess. Um, it was directed by David F. Sandberg and produced by Peter Safran. I'm not familiar with either of these people, um, but they did bring an interesting take on the character. Um, I think there is a lot of pressure for the DCEU to become lighthearted these days because now, you know, because of the horrible direction that Batman vs. Superman led us, uh, you know, two years ago. And then Justice League, you know, tried uh, like fumblingly to try and undo, you know, with making Batman a comedian of all people. Um, the Suicide Squad didn't help their case much either, because they tried going even darker with a slightly lighthearted twist, you know, with uh, Deadshot, uh, played by Will Smith and all that stuff. So Shazam went extreme on the lighthearted stuff, the way I saw it. Um, in a way it made sense, because the whole concept is that, you know, it's this adult superhero who is literally a kid at heart, you know, um, because his alter ego is Billy Batson, who is, I think, an 11-year-old boy, if I'm not mistaken, and whenever he shouts the name Shazam, uh, he changes into, well, Shazam, who was formerly known as Captain Marvel, but because of legal issues between DC and Marvel, uh, he became Shazam. So Shazam is the name of the wizard who actually granted him this power, that wizard is played by Jaman Hanzo in this movie, uh, who I guess does the best he can, given what he's, you know, um, given to work with. Um, he basically bestows Billy Batson with this power of the champion, uh, Shazam, and he gets all his superpowers. So as far as, like, you know, the superhero archetype, he's much like the Superman type superhero, you know? He's got flight, he's got super strength, he's uh, bulletproof and all that stuff. Um, and Zachary Levi, I think, was perfect to play the role because, you know, he actually brought to the screen quite effectively this characteristic of a, uh, a superhero who's literally a child. So he would act in the mannerisms of a child, even though he's an adult. And um, his first instinct would be to try all these things, these adult things that he never normally has a chance to do. Um, and it would be played, you know, like perfectly as an adult version of him being Zachary Levi. So that part of things was handled well. Um, and from what I saw, it seems to be the new 52 iteration of the Shazam character, based on the fact that in the very same origin story, um, the whole Shazam family um, gets their powers as well. I thought they should have or could have held that for maybe a later movie, um, just to draw things out and hold back content that can be used down the line in the universe. Um, but they saw fit to make it happen. It worked given given the circumstances, you know, they were fighting the seven deadly sins and each one of them was quite powerful on their own. It was a hard job for Shazam on his own to do. But to be fair, the way in which he was using his powers, albeit he was learning to use them, he was very reluctant in going full bore, you know, with um, the super strength and the speed and the flight, etc. Um, so, uh, yeah, he could have, if he put up a, a, a bit more of a fight, handled it on his own. There was also, you know, Dr. Shivana, I think his name was, um, to deal with as well, you know, as the main villain, played by Mark Strong. Um, this is his second DC movie. He plays Sinestro in Green Lantern. Um, not much of a step up in this instance because, look, Shazam was an okay movie. Um, I felt that the campiness and the lightheartedness, albeit it was necessary uh, given the character we're working with, but. I don't know, I just feel the DCEU needs so much more right now, you know, to, to hold it up. And um, more effort could have been put into this movie, you know. Um, 
for what they showed. I mean, visually it was great, it was stunning, you know, the way the effects and uh, were handled and how Shazam appears visually when he uses his powers and so on and so forth, flight, super speed, was handled great, you know. Um, the backstory of Billy Batson and his mom, uh, his biological mom, was actually quite a compelling part of the arc. Um, the young actor who plays Billy Batson, I forget his name, uh, played it quite well. I think his name is Asher Angel, actually, yes. Um, he, he played that quite well. In fact, he was actually a more compelling character than, well, Shazam was, you know, um, as far as character development, depth, and all that. So, uh, yes, they were the same person, but um, the Billy Batson uh, scenes, I think, shone more as far as depth in acting and story is concerned. So, yeah, it was an okay movie. It was a great time out. It was entertaining. Um, but, I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit like a British soccer fan when it comes to DC, you know? Like, I really take it seriously how much they're declining, especially in comparison to Marvel. Uh, I really wish they would actually pull their socks up. But, um, yeah, it was an okay movie for what it was. Um, those of you who've seen it, I don't know, let me know in the comment section be uh, below. Comment freely, let us know what you thought. And uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up icon to leave me a like. And if you'd like to see more from Empty Level Entertainment, click subscribe. And uh, be sure to click the bell icon so you are notified every time I drop new content on this channel. Um, I haven't done ratings on movies in a while. I think I'll give this movie, let's say maybe, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think that might be being a bit generous, but... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a seven. It was it was not a bad attempt. I think they just could have they could have done more. Um, but yeah, you let me know what you thought. And also, um, look out for a new addition to my channel coming soon. A new vlog series called the Zangetsu Chronicles. Uh, oh, sorry, actually, I decided on a different name for that. It's gonna be called Project Zangetsu. Um, it's basically a car culture vlog that's gonna be. Uh, centered around the, the build of my car that I call Zangetsu. Those of you who follow me on social media will know what I mean by that. But yeah, the first episode should be dropping on Monday. I'm going to be filming it tomorrow. And look out for that. And there's going to be lots more coming on the channel uh, through that vlog and other series as well that I've been meaning to do for a long time and been procrastinating on. I do apologize for that, guys. Uh, please bear with me. I am getting my ass in gear these things are gonna come to fruition. So stay tuned, keep it locked. Thank you for chilling with me. As usual, my name is Z the Entertainer and take care of each other, stay awesome people. Stay chasing your dreams to infinity and beyond. Hey guys, thanks a lot. If you want to see some more from us, click here or click here.